The atmospheric rivers that brought floodwaters to the Sumas Prairie in 2021 and this year share some things in common. They brought a tremendous amount of moisture to the mountains and they were warm. To understand what this means, we're joined by Elise Lagarth. She is a PhD candidate at UBC where she is studying the impact of these storms. Elise, uh, first of all, explain what happened with these storms and what, what did we see? So we really saw the impacts of what happens when we get consecutive storms, one after another, that are generally warmer than what's normal. So that caused a high increase in water levels in our rivers and led to some of the flooding that the Sumas area experienced. Was there anything that stood out to you particularly as alarming when it came to these series of storms? Yeah, definitely. Like, I mean, it's uncommon. Atmospheric rivers are generally warmer anyway. Like, they're generally a warm type of storm because they bring moisture in from the tropics. But these were warmer than typical for atmospheric rivers. So that caused um, a lot of snow melt, which added to the water transported into the streams. And it also meant that more of the precipitation fell as rain rather than snowfall. And are these storms, as, as they become warmer and bring more moisture, um, what else is fueling them, uh, if anything, beyond, beyond the warming planet and climate change? Um, well, that's a great impact, um, one of the key things. Um, outside of that, it is a normal weather system. So we actually rely on atmospheric rivers a lot in order to maintain our water supply. Without them, we'd be in a constant state of drought. They're responsible for about 90% of the water vapor movement around the planet. It's only that when we get these really extreme atmospheric rivers of either a long duration or a high intensity that we see the impacts such as flooding. And based on research and, and what we're seeing with 2021 and how disastrous it was and, and now with this year, do you expect to see that we'll see these storms increasing in, in moisture and intensity and perhaps in, in, in damage? Yeah, definitely. We, a lot of the research in terms of climate change and atmospheric rivers is showing that they're likely to increase in intensity. So they're gonna be stronger, they're gonna bring more rainfall and also in terms of frequency. So we're gonna see more of them. Finally, we appreciate your time. What do you think we, we need to do to pre prepare ourselves for, for these more severe storms? What more is there that we can do? Um, well, in terms of personally, like reducing your carbon footprint is a great one, but from the province level, um, there needs to be a lot of planning and redesigning of infrastructure so our bridges, our dams can accommodate greater flood levels. And certainly there are crews busy uh, uh, working on all sorts of, to repair all sorts of damage across the province from highways uh, down to, uh, to, to places that have uh, flooded as well. Elise Lagarth, UBC PhD candidate studying atmospheric science. We appreciate your time and your expertise. Thanks for joining us. Thank you.